Good morning and welcome to all of you. Um, we're delighted to host this wonderful Global Catalyst Health uh, Summit at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and to be joined by such an esteemed group of ambassadors and ministers representing countries around the world, particularly from low and middle income countries, the diaspora organization leaders who are breaking down barriers to create a stronger pipeline of innovation, visionary leaders in cancer research and biotech. We have some editors of our leading medical journals here and cancer advocates who are making their voice heard to push for better opportunities to improve health outcomes for patients and their families no matter where they live, no matter what their zip code or country is. And finally, um, all the young people here, you are the future. You are our future. You're the next generation of scientists and advocates and physicians and we are counting on all of you. Well, as you know, at Dana-Farber, we are singularly focused on cancer. We live, eat, and breathe cancer. That is our mission. And our mission is embraced by every single faculty member and employee and staff at Dana-Farber. We not only discover new treatments for cancer, we're a very highly research-oriented institution, but we provide the very, very best cancer care, uh, I believe, uh, in the world. And coming up with new strategies to treat cancer, because although the last decade and a half has been a revolutionary time for cancer, with changes that, that include the ability to target genetic mutations in cancers and to activate and ignite our own immune system to fight off cancers, we still have much to do to save lives. This is a tremendously exciting time in cancer, as I've said, with targeted therapies and immunotherapy and other innovation. And we, I'm, I'm hugely optimistic that over the next decade, we will not only continue to make wonderful new discoveries, but we will be on an exponential curve in learning how to treat cancers that have previously proved to be intractable. So the way I like to put it is that we are at the end of the beginning of new cancer treatments. And we want to do everything we can to extend the reach of innovation and expertise that we have globally to help empower cancer care and cancer research everywhere and bring better treatments to more patients. I think we're all in this room united by the belief that everyone deserves to have the very best cancer care no matter where they live. Everybody should have access to the latest cancer treatments and access to excellent and compassionate care. And so we need to make progress toward this goal now. Cancer is growing at an alarming rate globally. While the mortality rates from cancer have decreased significantly by around 20% over the last quarter of a century, according to the World Health Organization, nevertheless, the incidence of cancer is increasing, and it's increasingly affecting younger people. Cancer is the second leading cause of death globally. It's responsible for at least 10 million deaths from cancer in 2018. About 70% of those deaths occur in low and middle income countries where just in one in five countries, only one in five of those countries have the data they need to drive cancer policy. Low-income uh, countries in particular lack the resources to diagnose and treat cancer. In fact, just 26% of low-income countries report having pathology services generally available to the public compared to 90% of high-income countries. 
And the economic cost of cancer globally is staggering, estimated at roughly $1.6 trillion in 2010, and far more than that today. So this is a global health crisis that we have to confront by harnessing the full potential and capabilities of the global health community, which all of you represent. Tapping experts in discovery and cancer care, as well as experts across the healthcare center. And that's why this gathering is so important, because it brings together some of the brightest minds, visionary leaders, and the strongest and most passionate voices to push for new advances in cancer care and discovery to both raise the quality of cancer care in more places and to make that care more available. And all of you will make a difference. All of you will raise us up as a world. Now, I know how steep this challenge may seem because it is an enormous challenge, especially as you see it from the front lines of this crisis where you see firsthand the dread and the worry of patients and their families. And I understand that sometimes we all feel, and you in particular, can feel a sense of impossibility in changing the course of cancer. But I believe that we cannot be deterred. And I have hope for the future because of the advancements we're making in cancer research. And I have hope for the future because of the determination of everyone in this room in the words of Nelson Mandela, it always seems impossible until it's done. Together, we will change the cancer landscape and we will save lives. But just as cancer does not wait, neither can we. We have to make progress quickly. I know we can do this just one year ago this, in this, at this very event. As, as Will said, we helped launch the world's premier cloud-based comprehensive cancer center, C4, an award-winning program platform which places the innovation and expertise of the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, Harvard Cancer Center, in the cloud to open up access to education, training, and research anywhere in the world. And already C4 has helped train hundreds of cancer health professionals in low- and middle-income countries through lectures from Dana-Farber, Harvard Cancer Center, and faculty members from partner institutions. So I look forward to building on that success. This is just the beginning, and it's just one example of what we can do, what we can accomplish by collaboration. And I like to, to quote Harry Truman. I think actually it was Winston Churchill who said, it's amazing how much you can get done if you don't care who gets the credit for it. So when leading scientists, physicians, public health experts, government leaders, and advocates collaborate freely and openly, which you are all doing, and work together for a common goal, equipped with the support and resources we need, and we don't have all the resources we need, and we have to keep on advocating for those resources, I think there's no limit to what we can do. All of you really inspire me by the deep commitment that you sh have shown and that fills the room that we're in right now. And I believe strongly that we can do an amazing, we can do amazing progress, accomplish amazing things together. So let's harness all of the energy and talent we have in this room and work towards a healthier, cancer-free future for all. Thank you.